Good evening and welcome to this ABC 36 News Update. I'm Carla Wade. Fayette County reported its fourth H1N1 related death yesterday afternoon. That brings the county's total number to four and the state's to 31. ABC 36 has learned the woman was in her 40s and suffered from other health conditions. And following the woman's death, two swine flu vaccine clinics were held in Lexington today. ABC 36's Kate Slattery takes us to Lexington Christian Academy with more on Fayette County's battle with the flu. The Fayette County Health Department gave out more than 3,700 vaccinations Saturday. No pain. I just got the nasal mist, and now I don't have to worry about getting the swine flu. <laughs> you saw me in there. I think everybody said, well, if Santa can do it, I can do it too. The Commonwealth is still seeing a shortage of the seasonal flu vaccine. Manufacturers that were making the H1N1 were making the seasonal. Um, some of the, the shipments were delayed on seasonal flu. The department is expecting new shipments of the seasonal flu vaccine toward the end of November, early December, just in time for the official flu season. I would just advise people you know, to, to check back um, either, again, with pharmacies or their doctor's office or, or even the health department. The H1N1 shots and the seasonal flu shots cover two different virus strains. Getting vaccinated for both could prove useful. Full. A person could get both at the same time, and that's something that obviously we get concerned about because the influenza virus is very changeable. The good news is health experts say that next year the flu shots will likely be combined, so you'll only have to get one shot instead of two. But for now, stick with what you know. You want to wash your hands. Uh, if you can't get near soap and water, then use the hand sanitizers. You want to cover your coughs and sneezes. You want to um, stay home if you're sick. In Lexington, Kate Slattery, ABC 36, your local news source. And the Fayette County Health Department plans on having another H1N1 vaccination clinic in early December. A McKee man is behind bars after firing his gun into the Jackson County Dispatch Center this morning. Kentucky State Police say that one of the bullets almost hit a dispatcher. Police have now charged 33-year-old Vernon Atkins with attempted murder and tampering with physical evidence. Police have not said why Atkins shot up the building. And a house fire in Harrodsburg turns into an arson investigation. Police say a seven-year-old little girl suffered burns when her family's duplex caught fire on Ridgeway Drive. The girl was airlifted to UK Hospital. Her condition is unknown. No one else inside the home was hurt. Police have not said where the fire started in the house, but it is being investigated as arson. Now, take a look at this mugshot. Kentucky State Police have arrested a drunk driver in Marion County, or rather a suspected drunk driver. Police say that Richard Diffie's car veered off the road, then he hit a bridge and it flipped over. He was not seriously hurt, but he's been charged with DUI. That's a look at news on this ABC 36 webcast.